Hey guys and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the VU hard subroutine and its application to the elastic viscoplastic hardening. Let's talk about why we need the VU hard subroutine. Suppose that I want to model this type of plasticity in AVAX. If I use the VU mat subroutine I have to define the elastic part the elastic predictor the plastic part and I must make sure that I have the correct form for the Jacobian matrix but if I use the VU hard subroutine I only need to worry about the plastic part and specifically the hardening part Some important notes. The VU hard subroutine can be used to define a material's isotropic yield behavior as well as a combined hardening model. Also, it requires that the derivatives of the yield stress to be defined. This part might sound scary, but we are going to see that uh, we can easily define the derivatives of the yield stress with respect to temperature or strain rates. This is the subroutine's header. Most of the parameters are known. Thus, I'm going to focus on the most important uh, inputs. First, we need to define the equivalent plastic strain and its rate and the two other important parameters are the derivative of the yield surface with respect to the temperature and the derivative of the yield surface with respect to the equivalent plastic strain and its derivative. Let's see some examples. Suppose that I want to model a hardening which is dependent on the strain rate and temperature and our parameters are as shown here if I want to use the UMAT subroutine the Jacobian matrix for this type of hardening is going to be a major problem however on the VU hard subroutine we can easily define this type of hardening and if we want to use uh, the VU hard uh, subroutine, we have to define this keyword star plastic hardening user and properties equal to n, in which n is the number of our inputs. Continuing with the subroutine, this is the header of the subroutine, and then some dimensions and character in this part we are going to define our input parameters for example sigma 0 which is the virgin yield stress t1 q1 t2 q2 which are the temperature and rates next if i want to use the strain rates i'm going to use these parameters and if i'm going to use the temperature uh, dependent rate i'm going to use these parameters so for isotropic work hardening i'm going to use uh, this uh, line these lines and uh, if I want to show what our T1, Q1 parameters are, I can use uh, this uh, equation, H. We can use, for example, 10 uh, Qs, 10 lines for H, but in this subroutine, I'm going to use only two inputs. Next, parameters for strain rate sensitivity. sensitivity which are equal to uh, this second part and the third part for the temperature sensitivity. First, we are going to compute yield stress and its derivatives. This is the yield stress according to our formula. Next, 
we are going to define the derivative with respect to equivalent plastic strain which is easy then we are going to define uh, the derivative with respect to equivalent plastic strain rate in our formula this is not present so it's going to be zero and derivative with respect to the temperature is also going to be zero next we are going to apply the rate sensitivity if needed if n is going to be greater than zero we are going to have these parts and we must make sure that this the parameters vp and dvp are going to be multiplied by the uh, derivative of the yield surface with respect to the equivalent plastic strain this is the most important line if we are going to apply the rate sensitivity next if we are going to apply the temperature sensitivity uh, i'm going to show that this is uh, pretty equal to applying the rate sensitivity only the formulas are going to be different and we are going to also multiply the derivative of the yield surface with respect to the equivalent plastic strain with the derivatives of the yield surface with respect to temperature always remember to multiply the derivative of the yield surface with respect to the uh, equivalent plastic strain with the applied temperature or uh, strain rate sensitivity these lines are also uh, very important in our calculations this concludes our video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos take care